betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Texas Rangers vs Los Angeles Angels Colby Allard took the loss for allowing three runs on five hits and one walk, while striking out four across 5.2 innings. Leody Tavares recorded a multi-hit game and scored a run to highlight an otherwise quit night for the Texas offense. The Angels have been hovering around the .500 mark all season and need to make a push soon, with their playoffs hopes looking slim as of late. The injuries to the pitching staff have forced the Angels to turn to Jansen Junk as their starting pitcher for the upcoming game. Junk has yet to pitch in the majors, but in 17 starts in the minor leagues, this season has only allowed 34 runs, while striking out 97 batters. It's been a tough year for the Rangers gambling-wise as well with a mark of 60-75 to 75 against the spread, while being down a huge amount on the money line, thanks to their miserable outright record. Overs are 65-62-7 for the Rangers, with four of their last five games going under the betting total. The hope is that the offense can help out the prospect pitch, as the lineup is scoring 4.55 runs per game. Shahei Atani is having an MVP season with 43 home runs, a .358 on-base percentage, and a .612 slugging percentage, but the back half of the lineup has stepped up as well. Justin Upton and Jared Walsh have combined for 42 home runs this season, while Max Stassi is adding 11 home runs and 108 total bases, giving the Angels a potent lineup as of late. The Rangers are right near the bottom of the MLB leaderboard in most offensive categories, with an average of 3.84 runs per game and an AL worst 0.671 team ops. Texas's pitching staff is also in the bottom 10 with a 4.70 collective ERA, including a mark of 5.00 from a struggling rotation. My betting advice for that game is to pick over. Seattle Mariners vs Arizona Diamondbacks. The young left-hander opened his major league career with an impressive no-hitter against the Padres. Of course, some regression was expected in his starts after that. He carries a rock-solid 2.93 ERA, 1.16 whip, with 20 strikeouts over 27 innings. Opposing batters are only hitting .222 against the rookie, with a .354 slugging percentage over four starts. Third baseman Ty France leads the way with 137 hits and a .291 average. Shortstop J.P. Crawford has 133 hits, while right fielder Mitch Hanager has added 129. Hanager has hit 30 home runs third baseman Kyle Seager has blasted a team-best 31 homers. They will be facing an Arizona pitching staff that is number 29 with a team ERA of 5.12. Right-handed pitcher Chris Flexen will start for Seattle on Sunday afternoon. He allowed two runs across 5.2 innings against Houston in his last outing. Flexen was outstanding in August, going 2-0 with a 2.68 ERA across six starts. Tyler Gilbert gave up five runs, three earned, on eight hits and a loss on Monday to the Padres in his last appearance. The last time Gilbert faced the Padres, he joined an exclusive club of pitchers who threw a no-hitter in their first MLB start. No such results this time. The southpaw was hurt by his defense, but he allowed a monster two-run shot to Fernando Tatis Jr. and was pretty much in trouble for the rest of the game. Gilbert is a fun story who had another decent start on Thursday against the Pirates, but the no-hitter may have been a fluke. He'll try and rebound with his start on Sunday against the Mariners. The Mariners went into Saturday night's game on a three-game winning streak, winning their final two games against Houston. They added a 6-5 win in extra innings on Friday night. Seattle gets to face Arizona in three more games next weekend, so its playoff hopes are very much alive. The Mariners are currently four games back of the second AL wild card spot. They have been able to overcome an offense that is dead last in the MLB, with a team batting average of .222. My betting advice for that game is to pick under. 
Quick reminder, you can get 125% cash back bonus on your first deposit on our partner Sportsbook Bet US after you open an account using our link down below and use our promo code HIGHSTAKES when making your deposit. Houston Astros vs San Diego Padres. San Diego is averaging 4.59 runs per game. Their .241 batting average is 14th in the league. Their .323 on base percentage is 9th, while their .402 slugging percentage is 19th in the league. The Houston Astros have been one of the most dangerous offensive teams in baseball all season. Houston leads all teams with a .2617 batting average, .338 on base percentage, second scoring 5.2 runs scored per game, and third with a .438 slugging percentage. Fernando Tatis Jr. leads San Diego with a .280 batting average and 36 home runs, while Manny Machado leads the team with 87 RBI. The Astros lineup is loaded, with six positions who have at least a 2.5 war, wins above replacement on the season. Michael Brantley leads the team with a .316 batting average, and Jordan Alvarez leads the team with 28 homers and 89 RBI. Carlos Correa has a team-high 5.8 war to go along with 21 home runs and 72 RBI. Jose Altube has 25 home runs on the season, but has struggled lately with no homers and just 3 RBI in his last 29 games. San Diego's pitching is among the best in the league. Opponents have a .235 batting average against the Padres, which is 10th in the league. Their 3.79 ERA is 9th, while their 1.23 whip is 10th. Luis Garcia is scheduled to start for the Astros on Sunday. In 25 games this season, Garcia is 10-6 with a 3.23 ERA and 1.11 whip. In his last start, Paddock gave up three hits and one run in 4.2 innings, leading to a 7-5 win over Arizona. They will need another solid start from him if they want to get the win. My betting advice for that game is to pick over. Los Angeles Dodgers vs San Francisco Giants. Jose Quintana has not pitched well this season, according to his baseball saving page, as he is in the 8th percentile in barrel percentage, 15th percentile in average exit velocity, 21st percentile in Zara, and 23rd percentile in hard hit percentage. His 10.9 barrel percentage is the highest of his career. Quintana has a four-pitch arsenal, fastball, curveball, sinker, chanjube, and his curveball has been hit the most, as it has a .310 batting average and a .517 slugging percentage. He has faced the Dodgers twice already this season, as he went 0-0 in 4.2 innings and allowed one run on two hits with five walks and six strikeouts. Los Angeles is third in runs per game, 5.05, and first in runs allowed per contest, 3.48. They are also first in run differential at plus 1.57. The Dodgers' offense is 12th in team batting average, 0.242, and fifth in home runs per game, 1.39. My betting advice for that game is to pick under. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.